Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to revisit PSP on RetroPie using the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, the brand new board from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So we do have some slight improvements with this board. Um, and I have been testing it quite a bit, working on some overclock settings, messing around with certain things, trying to optimize emulators and get certain games running the best they possibly can with a little boost that we got with this new version of the Raspberry Pi. So I just did a live stream the other day, just stock, not messing with anything, not overclocking, not um, optimizing anything with the emulators, just to see, just out of the box for just, you know, the average user who's just gonna throw some games on there and start playing with the default emulators and whatnot. Um, what kind of performance would we get? And with the PSP, it was pretty garbage, just being honest, pretty garbage. But going through and really messing with some stuff, um, I'm, I'm starting to be able to get some decent performance out of PSP. Dare I say, extremely playable on a lot of games. So today I just want to showcase Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles. Um, this is a game that typically is playable but stutters a lot has a lot of little issues and and things like that so today what we are using is the ppsspp emulator um and i do have some certain settings and i will share my settings with you very shortly um what i'm doing though is you know game specific settings essentially because one game with this emulator you could have set one way and then another game might suffer from that setting um, definitely you could leave it at default and try to get just a general blanket of, you know, compatibility, but kind of defeats the purpose of being able to configure things. So today I wanted to showcase this and just show you some of the settings that I have for this particular game, which you can mimic for a lot of other games. And right now I do have up top, you see the FPS counter going and the speed percentage showing as well. Um, so that's something I'm trying to monitor, and you guys can kind of follow along. So this game we're at, you know, it's 30 FPS. And as long as we're not dipping down too slow, um, I want to say as long as we're, we're still sitting, you know, 25 to 30 frames per second, we should be good. If we start dipping down really low, especially during gameplay, that's going to be an issue. So here I just want to jump into this game, kind of monitor the frames per second, the speed percentage there, and, and see what we got going on. Um, typically with this emulator, if you have the default settings on the game, will not look as good as it does right now. And like I said, we will be taking a look at that in a moment here. So I already created a save. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. It starts out at the beginning. I didn't actually play much of it to where I could save my game. Um, but so far, even with a little cutscene, everything is staying fairly steady. You're getting little tiny dips, but nothing in my eyes that is crazy major. Um, in a cutscene, if it's not maintaining 100%, I don't, you know, as long as it's not stuttering along, I, I, th I think I'm good. Uh, Gameplay wise, I need to be as close to 100% as possible, um, full FPS and, and everything. If not, and I get too many stutters, it's just, why am I gonna game on this? Why am I gonna play the game? I'm not gonna bother. And that's what one of the biggest issues with uh, Nintendo 64. There's so many games that play, but they just don't play well. They stutter along, you get glitches and whatnot. And so far in this game, I am not getting too much in the way of any of that. I'm not getting any graphics glitches. Everything's pretty darn sharp. The sound is pretty much on point. Um, to me, it's looking very beautiful. So obviously, I do have some settings going on um, to be able to have the game look this way. PSP had, you know, very, you know, a, a real crappy uh, resolution. Um, if I recall, it's like 480 by, I mean, not crappy necessarily, 480 by like two something. I don't, I don't remember, 272, uh, something like that. Could have been, let me, let me double check for that. 480 by 272, exactly. Uh, so kind of a, an awkward uh, resolution that you really 
kind of have a hard time upscaling um, properly, you know, on newer screens anyway. But you get decent results. And here, like I said, we're playing on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and she is performing, in my opinion, excellent. Dare I say, very much so playable. Let's skip this crap and just get in the game. All right, don't fall in that sewer. Don't fall in that sewer, damn it. Throw your stupid barrel. Ain't nobody got time for that. But just keep keep an eye on that uh, the FPS. This game, like I said, it has been decently playable in the past, um, but you would get a lot more in the way of uh, dips within the game. Um, you know, stuttering, very noticeable stuttering. And in, in this, at least on my monitor, I can't speak for the video processing of YouTube if, you know, that's going to affect this in any way. Um, you know, I am recording and uploading at the, uh, the best possible speed and resolution that I can uh, with the setup that I got, so we should be fine. But for me, on my screen, it is looking great. It is performing excellent. Very awesome, very awesome game. Um, in the future, we will be testing out a lot more games with this. I definitely want to try to get game-specific configurations for PSP um, because there's a ton. There's just so many damn PSP games that are amazing. Let me get this guy. I shouldn't be having this, this much of a problem with this dude. Why am I jumping right on him? There we go. Taking those hits, man. Taking those hits. So far, I mean, every time I'm kind of glancing up at the FPS, we're sitting at, you know, 26 to 30, uh, you know, 100%, you know, in the 100% range. So I, I think with this game, I'm pretty good with the settings that I have for it. Um, I am just, like I said, saving the settings per individual game. And this is working out great for me. So... Definitely, I'm gonna share that with you guys. I'm gonna show you in a moment what the settings are for this game. Now that I died, I might as well jump into that right now for you guys. So remember, this is uh, PPSSPP. This is not the Liberetro um, core version. So here we go. Game settings. Let's just kind of go through real quick and I'll show you, you know, a lot of things are default, but some things I did change up a little bit. Like I said, it can be game specific, so not necessarily one setting is gonna be the end all be all for all games. Um, even on a PC, you know, you might have to tweak certain things for some games, but you will definitely have a better time um, with default settings on a decently powered PC or, you know, whatnot. On a Raspberry Pi, not so much. You're gonna have to tweak around with this thing. You're gonna have to adjust. You're gonna have to, to, to you know find those settings that work for you is it worth it if you like PSP then hell yes it's worth it so let's just go through this real quick and just so you can note and kind of try to mimic the settings that I have if you want to test this out and try yourself so back end open GPL which is a default mode buffered rendering simulate block transfers on frame skipping one with auto frame skip on prevent FPS from exceeding 60 it says it speeds up uh, God of War. I don't know. Not not so much on uh, Retro Pi. It does a little bit, but not not enough to be playable. I think um, unlimited on our alternative speed. Post processing shader off. Um, you do have a few things you can do anti anti aliasing um, CRT scan lines and all that. But for now, we're leaving that off. Um, but there are some options there. That could affect gameplay, could not, just, you know, it all depends um, on some of your other settings. Full screen on, rendering resolution we have two times, Hard for, hardware transform on, software skinning on, vertex cache on, lazy texture caching, which speed up is on, uh, retain change textures is off, disable slower textures, or slower effects, my bad, is on. Spline Bezier Curves quality is on low right now. Some games, um, you need to have that on high. Uh, you can have it on medium. Right now, I've just been messing around with it on low. Not all games use that, so that's why it's not really important, but it is something you might need to mess with depending upon the game. Upscale, two times. Upscale type, 
uh, BRZ. You can definitely change that, but I'm leaving that as is for now, but I will be doing some further testings. Testing, deposterize, not on. Anisotropic filtering, 16 times. Uh, texture filtering, auto. God, man, I'm losing my ability to speak. Screen scaling filter is linear. And then hack settings, timer hack is off. Disable stencil test is on. Lower resolution for effects is on balanced. Um, and then we have, like I said, the show FPS counter um, with the speed percentage as well. Um, so pretty good stuff. As far as anything else, whoa, swine apple alert. Thanks for the subscription. Should have turned that off before I started recording, but hey, bro, Caesar Morales, I believe is what it said. Appreciate the subscription, man. But yeah, so far I've not messed with anything else other than, you know, making sure my controls work to my liking, obviously. But graphics was the, the biggest uh, issue for me, um, making sure everything was working properly in that regard. Um, and for this particular game and a handful others that I have tested, I am getting awesome results out of, and I am very pleased for sure. Do I think we'll get 100% um, with every game? No, not, not on this, this board. Um, a future revision of the Raspberry Pi, maybe. You know, if we get some more RAM and, and you know, a better CPU for sure. Um, and the current state right now, the 3B Plus, I can only really recommend this board um, if you're going to buy a Raspberry Pi anyway. If you're gonna buy a Raspberry Pi 3, and it's the same cost as the 3B Plus, you might as well. Um, if you just already have images and, and stuff set up for, you know, the, the you know, previous version of the board, then maybe you just want to stick with that. Really no reason to upgrade unless you're not content with what you have. If you have a setup and everything's running the way you want it, you've given, say you've given up on certain things because they just don't run well, is this board gonna magically make all that run perfect? No, no it's not. There's a ton of optimizations that need to be done and a lot of it is just gonna be based on the emulator. Um, not even as much of the stuff that you can optimize. With PSP, it's just, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be the system, you know, system reliant on the board that we're using and the optimizations that are available through the emulator and we have some decent you know options here to to change things up to get better performance but it's not going to fix every issue on the psp but a lot of the games that to me were unplayable previously um, because they were dipping down way too low for me I'm getting a slightly better performance because um, I'm very nitpicky with that kind of thing. If I have just a few too many stutters, I'm giving up. I'm done. I don't want to play it. It's just not enjoyable for me. Uh, but for me, for this game, I could never play this uh, before. It just never ran as well as it is now for me um, with this particular emulator, with these particular settings, and on this particular board. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm most likely going to be doing plenty more videos showcasing some of these uh, optimizations and tests and whatnot. You know, you guys can learn along with me and figure things out. So, appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button. Do all that great stuff. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Boom. Stage clear.